Hello guys, welcome back to a new video in the series of Veritas Solution. Uh, today I'll be talking about one other important feature with the net backup which is auto image replication or more commonly called the AIR. So what is basically AIR is that it's a way of moving data from one location to another. So in case of disaster or something happens, uh, you have the copy available and you can bring uh, your servers and your client information up which helps you to keep the uh, business going on and help you to recover the data too. Uh, you can use this technology to move the data from one location to another so basically one to one or if you have uh, multiple sites so you can move the uh, client information or data or server information from one location to many location or the other way around too from many remote location to one data center too. Uh, this works in conjunction with storage lifecycle policy and from the licensing point of view, if you have a platform-based complete edition, the data protection optimization uh, option comes with that, which is based on front-end terabyte. But in case you're using the a la carte method or the traditional method, you need to purchase the DPO or the data protection optimization, which is again, it's purchased on the basis of front-end terabyte. Uh, so really cool uh, uh, disaster recovery and business continuity method uh, that uh, it can provide you. Now, in order to test this, I have two net backup domain. I have a, a net backup server, which is a master and media NBU, and I have NBU1, which is also uh, in uh, master and media server. Another important thing is that you need to have a media server deduplication pool uh, in order to use uh, AIR uh, technology. So I have uh, in both the location, I have a pure disk connected to the master server. So as you can see over here, and what we'll do is that uh, uh, with the SLP uh, uh, technology or SLP policy what we'll do is that uh, we'll use the air and move the data from one location to another now when you move the data also the catalog and all the inf other information is also moved to the uh, master server so the copy that you get in the disaster site is a complete copy which you can use to restore and uh, restore your server and uh, other information too so Let's go to the server now and let's see what configuration you have to do. So I am on the uh, net backup server NBU which is on the primary site. So let me open the administration console and see what configuration you need to do. So what first thing you have to do is uh, under the host property you will highlight the master server and you double click on the master server and under the server will go to the trusted master server and as you can see that I have already added the NBU1 which is going to be the target server. Uh, if you're doing for the first time you'll hit the add button and uh, provide the uh, net backup uh, trusted master server. So in this case it will be NBU1 and uh, you provide the username and the administrator. Since I have already added so let me come out of this one. And the other configuration you have to do is under the media and device management and the credential you go to the storage server so let me highlight this so since i have already created the pure disk storage server and under the replication uh, you will give the name of the target storage server which is nbu1 which is on the disaster site so since i have already added so let me again come out of this one too now let's go to the, you have to do the same configuration if you want to have the bi-directional one. So what you can do is, uh, let me just quickly go to the NBU one. And let me go to the master server. I like this. And you, as you can see that under the server and under the trusted master server, I have the NBU and uh, under the credential under the storage server if I go to the NBU1 pure disk and under the replication I have the NBU veritas.local so this is pretty straightforward uh, so these configuration you need to do before you start applying the auto image replication thing so let's do this way now let me go back to the uh, net backup serve which is on the primary side because that's the place from where I want to uh, move the data to the DR site so let's go to the open the administration console 
and under the storage lifecycle policy we will create a policy so let create a policy and give it a name one and under the add button we will be backing up and uh, will be backing up onto the uh, deduplication pool which I have already created or pure disk and you hit the OK button now let's go to the because we'll be importing the image so let me just quickly flip over to the disaster recovery master server which is NBU1 and uh, open the administration console here let me quickly log in here let me go to the storage and in the storage lifecycle policy let me create a new storage lifecycle policy and let me give it a name too and you hit the add button and in the operation what we'll do is that we'll select the option of import because we're importing the image and in this case the destination storage gonna be the PD underscore P which is another pure disk which I have connected to the uh, NBU one and you hit the OK button and I will come out of this one uh, OK again OK and uh, now let's go to the net backup so on the primary site I will highlight the backup option and now hit the add button and uh, what we'll do is that in the operation we'll select the replication because we want to replicate and in this case the specific master server going to be the NBU1 because that's the place we want to replicate and the target import SLP will be 2 which we have just made and you hit the uh, OK button and you hit OK again actually let me give the window to I forgot to give the window so because I want to specify the time so let me give the time so let's select today Saturday and uh, just keep in mind this time over here because I want to show you how the replication will be working so it's 28 right now let me select 32 and uh, let me select okay I have to give a name so let me give a name let's say Saturday and hit the OK button and let me hit OK again so our SLP is good to go so what we'll do is that now let's go under the policy and uh, I have already created the data that I want to replicate so if you've been following this track it is the same uh, client in our case uh, which is a domain controller so under the policy storage what you'll do is that you select one that's the SLP that we have created and let me just hit OK and because I want to manually run so I'll right click and I'll do a manual backup and you hit OK button so what we are trying to do now is uh, in the storage lifecycle policy we'll be backing up on the pure disk that we have created and after that via the auto image replication we'll move the image onto the pure disk on the uh, DR site and if you want we don't have any tape library what you can do is that if you want you can also mention in the story lifecycle policy and you can also duplicate the image in case you have a tape library over here but for the time being we'll back up over here and then we'll replicate the image onto the DR site pure disk so now let's go to the activity monitor on the primary site and as you can see that the backup has been started and let me just highlight this and uh, as you can see that it's validating the image from the client which is the domain controller 
and the operation was completed successfully so let me come out of this let me just pause the video for two minutes and uh, when the replication start I will just start the video again so as you can see that check out the time now and as you can see that the replication has been started and uh, hopefully we should get the status code 0 too uh, let me quickly flip over to the NBU1 and let me see what's the activity monitor is going to be and uh, so as you can see I'm on NBU1 now the activity monitor here uh, we are importing the image so seems to be working fine so that's a replication which is taking place and uh, you can see the job policy name is the one and it also gives the schedule name to which have, we have signified and the media server in this case is nbu.veritas so let's wait for the status code and as I mentioned that when you move the data it also imports all the catalog information too so the image that you get on the DR site is a full-blown image which you can use to restore in case uh, some mishap or something happens on the production site so as you can see that the status code we got zero and the replication was completed successfully and uh, so pretty powerful uh, uh, technology uh, with the net backup auto image replication i'm sure if you use it you'll find it very useful and i hope you learn something new today thanks for watching have a good day bye bye